Hey everyone, Mayhem here, coming to you live from the Discord Dimension with another episode of Mayhem's Equestrian Reviews, where today I will be reviewing My Little Pony, Friends of His Magic, Season 1, Episode 15, Feeling Peaky Keen. So a brief plot snapshot of this episode. It starts off with Pinkie Pie revealing that she has an ability called the Pinky Sense, which allows her to predict the near future uh, by reading uh, twitches and itches and aches on her body. And of course, Twilight Sparkle's like, that's not true, you're just making it up. But Applejack reassures Twilight, oh yes, it is true. But Twilight does not believe him in the slightest. So she goes throughout the whole episode trying to prove that the pinky sense is just a fake, fake, fakety fake. Uh, but in the end, of course, she's proven wrong. Uh, when in the end, they, uh, Pinkie Pie, it's a sense that something really bad's gonna happen uh, at f where Fluttersy was. Fluttersy was at this bog. It's called like the Soggy Bottom Blog. Uh, blog. No, the Soggy Bottom Bog. Because he's trying to transport frogs because of a frog overpopulation at a different pond. And Pinkie Pie says something bad's going to happen. They, uh, her, Applejack, and Twilight go to the bog to save Fluttersy. But Twilight still thinks that Pinkie Pie is just making it up. But then it's turned out that there's a Hydra attacking all of them. And they narrowly escape the Hydra. And in the end, Pinkie Pie says that the Hydra was not the big thing her sense told her about. And Twilight Sparkle completely freaks out. And Pinkie Pie reveals that her twit, uh, the big crazy thing that was going to happen was Twilight Sparkle's epic freak out. So, uh, Twilight Sparkle is proven wrong. And now she believes in the Pinkie sense. So what did I think about this episode? This episode was amazing. I laughed the whole time, which I can only other I can only say about two other episodes in the series so far. Uh, every episode's gotten a few laughs out of me, except for Suited for Success. But uh, this a few have gotten me laughing pretty much the entire time. Now I, I want to limit down the jokes. There are so many good jokes in this one, but I'm gonna try to limit it down to just a few. First of all, it was funny how uh, halfway through the episode, Twilight Sparkle's kind of stalking Pinkie Pie, and it's pretty creepy. Uh, but then Pinkie Pie's tail starts twitching, and Twilight Sparkle's like, "Oh, nothing's gonna fall," and she gets crushed by an anvil and a table and a freaking piano. And uh, since that just came completely out of nowhere, uh, that's some serious sock humor right there. And uh, I just laughed my butt off. And I was watching one of my favorite commentators, San in 1995, and me and him at the exact same time had the exact same reaction. What the heck just happened? Uh, and uh, me and him were both super confused for a few seconds until it's revealed that it all came from a moving van in the sky that dropped all of its stuff on Twilight by accident, which is explainable. Uh, so that's how that went down. And another part that really got me is right at the end, Twilight's big freak out. She literally bursts into flames. Her mane just catches on fire and she bursts into flames. And I could say that is definitely a first for the series. That just got me just cracking up because I was like, Oh my gosh, she just burst in the freaking flames! Oh my goodness gracious! And I just cracked right up because I, I can say I, I did not see that coming, but I know a lot of things on the internet uh, uh, use that image. Like, for example, it burns, 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 oh, it's so hot, it burns, 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 yeah, oh, it is so hot. Link down in the description below. But, in uh, yeah, that's just super funny, and that's where it originates from. I love finding the points where all these funny things originate, uh, and on that same topic, uh, you may have seen in some animations, maybe even in a pony in real life animations, uh, specifically, it was used in, like, episode one or two, I think it was episode two of Pony Meets World, the popular online series. Uh, you saw Pinkie Pie rolling around in the, uh, the grass, and I always wondered where that came from, and it actually comes from midway through the episode, uh, just r her rolling right there, and I have to say that that is pr uh, pretty good. I enjoyed that. Uh, I love finding the origin of all these parts. But for all the good, there has to be a bit of bad. No episode is perfect. 
uh, every episode has some negatives. So what were my negatives of this episode? Well, I only really have two. One, I say this just about almost every episode, but Twilight acted dumb. I mean, seriously, I know this is season one, and she always gets better over the series, but seriously, for being the pony who's supposed to be the smartest of them all, she's done a lot of dumb things this season. Now, what is her crime for this episode? Taking too long to realize that Pinky is telling the truth. Now, if I was in her position, I'd take her exact stance. I would not believe that Pinkie Pie could predict the future just from sakes and wiggles and stuff, and I would be extremely skeptical, and I would not just believe right off the bat. So, uh, but maybe after like 9 or 10 successful proofs, I would believe after 9 or 10 at maximum, probably after 6 or 7 completely uh, accurate results, uh, I would... I would definitely believe her that she's true. But it took Twilight like 15 or 20 times to believe, and she only believed after the giant Hydra freaking attacked them. So I could say if it were me, I probably would have started believing earlier than Twilight Sparkle. It's just a nitpick, but seriously, I uh, I expect uh, she should have at least like realized a little bit earlier. It gets kind of annoying seeing her... Uh, I I can understand. You can't resolve the conflict super quick. You gotta have a 20-minute episode because the show is 20 minutes long. But seriously, you could have made it a little shorter. And the other nitpick I have this in this episode is a continuity error, actually. Because if you look in the shot going right now, you can see Twilight Sparkle has casts on her legs from when she was crushed by, uh, like, anvils and stuff. Uh, when she was completely crushed. But now in this next shot, the casts are just completely gone. Nowhere to be found. And now they're gone. Po poof. So, did her legs just magically heal instantly? Or was she just wearing the cast for fun and she just took them off? Was she doing it to get, self -pit to get pity from other people? I'm not sure. All I know is that this is technically a continuity error. And I do not like continuity errors. There should have been some explanation to this. But other than that, I absolutely love this episode. I laughed the whole time. It was hilarious. And I feel kind of guilty for doing this. But I have... I, rec I always try to recognize when something's good. And therefore, it has to get 5 out of 5 stars. Now, the reason I feel a little guilty doing this is because I know the next episode, episode 16... Uh, Sonic Rainboom is one of the best in the series. I remember it, how it was one of the best in the series, and I'm I, I'm probably going to have to give that one five stars also. And it feels kind of like eh, giving two episodes in a row five stars because the five stars is supposed to be something special. I never expected at this point I'd already have given three episodes five stars, but the series is just so good. I just love the series so much. I just can't help giving a few up uh, more unusual episodes five stars. They're just that good. So, do you agree with me in my opinion? Did I review this correctly? Did I review it wrong? Do you like this episode? Do you dislike this episode? Was my review stupid? Do you uh, disagree with my opinions? Are you ready for Sonic Rainboom coming next time on Mayhem's Question Reviews? I sure am. Leave all these answers down in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Mayhem, coming to you live from the Discord Dimension. And goodbye!